Hello creative people and welcome to Monica and Doodle channel. Welcome back if you have been here before and just welcome if it's your first time. So today I wanted just to share with you a little bit of my life and as you see here I am trying to make some earrings right now to fulfill my orders on Etsy. I know it's been quite a while since I uploaded last time and I completely disappeared from social media and I am so sorry about that but my life seriously was just like a roller coaster and I couldn't help but I just needed to sort out myself first and my personal life so right now everything's coming back to normal and I think that I can finally start sharing some arty crafted stuff with you. And saying that, actually I'm doing the earrings right now, it doesn't seem like it is earrings at the moment, but it will be, believe me, so I'm just gonna probably shut up and leave you to enjoy the process a little while until we go to the main subject of this video. right now and it's not sent yet but I will do it later in the evening when I will walk the dog and anyways what I wanted to say that I kind of got inspired and as I was scrolling through Instagram yes I know no original ideas but I really want to try to make angel wing earrings right now and I cannot understand how exactly people making them so beautiful and I know that I have no patience for that to do it for seven hours to make it beautiful so I will try to make a shortcut and find a some kind of trick how to make them quick and I don't know if that's possible but I think I will do that so let me try and I will share this video in full with you later on but now I need to find out how to make that angel wing shape So first things first, I need some ideas and to have ideas usually I'm using Google or Pinterest. Yes, I know I'm guilty about that but oh well, what you can do about it. Anyways, this shape I'm planning to make, to draw and I will ask my husband to 3D print me a cutter for it so I can use it to ease off my process. And we're coming back on the next day. My clay cutters are made already and I actually needed the clay so you don't need to watch that boring kneading tutorial if you can say that just me rolling the clay and we can just go straight to the business and as you see because I'm using white clay there is so many dust and lint and dog's hair everything is in my house I just can't keep it clean properly so what I'm doing I'm using rubbing alcohol and I'm wiping off clean until it's absolutely perfect so that's really good tip if you have a dog and there is hair like floating in the air everywhere all the time make sure you have rubbing alcohol if you're using light colored clays because this is the only way to keep your pieces clean and needless to say actually you see what i'm doing i'm just pressing the angel wings from my clay sheet into the pieces and i'm using the stamp to give some relief to it it's very simple very easy and if you are wondering where i get those forms it's my husband made them for me and he's opened it his etsy shop for clay cutters and if you are interested i will leave the link below in the description so you can check it out also as dreamy white angel wings are i thought you know it might be a little bit boring so i decided to use some white and silver eyeshadows very simple but it gives just that extra glam to the design When it's baked, it's kind of rule of thumb for me, I am always coating my earrings with resin. Why am I doing that? Well, because the design is so delicate and those angel wings, those feathers can be some little bit more fragile than 
very blocky, very solid shape. I decided that if I will not use resin, I'm kind of losing a little bit of the quality. So I'm coating it with UV resin and I will leave it into my nail machine to cure and I will flip sides and I will do that again. And finally I'm just putting the findings into the earrings and that will be done. And I know it's kind of very brief tutorial how I'm making it and I just thought you know it might be a little bit too boring if I will be too detailed about it and I mean you know if you are interested in polymer clay arts anyways you kind of have a grasp what I'm doing and what I'm saying and you kind of have a clue how to do it and alternatively if you don't have a clue how I'm doing all that and you really want to learn please don't forget to leave a comment and ask me for very very in-depth tutorial and I believe it's gonna be longer but I will explain for you everything so if you have questions don't forget you always can ask and I'm very very happy to answer them all as long as I know the answer and also if you really love this type of content please don't forget to subscribe because there will be only more and more and more tutorials how to do with things with polymer clay, how to do jewelry, how to paint, how to do any other kinds of crafts. And if you have any suggestions, again, please leave me a comment and I will try to make it. So what do you think? I really really love them and I cannot wait to take pictures of it and put it into my Etsy shop. So thank you for watching again and don't forget to subscribe for my channel because it really really helps. And see you next time then. Bye!